Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, I hope that you are enjoying your online learning and uh, hopefully you are improving your language skills. Today, I am here with you for another lesson and that's about literature. Literature is something very fantastic. If you are familiar with the literature of a language, you can understand the language very well. That is the highest level of someone that if a person can understand the literature. So poetry is our today's task and I hope that you are very well familiar with poetry. Poetry is a fantastic genre of literature where we talk about our feelings and all over the world throughout the world in all the languages people speak and uh, people speak in poetry and uh, that is the first thing all over the world in all the languages that uh, uh, people use to express themselves so uh, first of all let's go that what is poetry just to uh, reinforce i know that you know it very well but just to give a little tribute to wordsworth and also to start our lesson about literature poetry poetry is the spontaneous poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings and emotions recollected in tranquility the poets they write when they are having the thoughts and they are going to express themselves so we are having a poem that is also fantastic and uh, uh, the title of the poem is the blades of grass the blades of grass written by stephen crane and you know i hope that you are just watching this one that 1871 to 1900 short span of time but he is appreciated all over the world and uh, he is one of the best american writers uh, he wrote some novels as well but this poem is our target for today let's listen i hope that you have read it or once again we are going to read it out now in heaven in heaven some little blades of grass stood before god what did you do then all save one of the little blades begin eagerly to relate impatiently narrate the merits of their lives this one stayed a small way behind ashamed Presently God said, And what did you do? The little blade answered, O oh my Lord, memory is bitter to me. For if, for if I did good deeds, I know not of them. Then God, in all his splendor, grandeur, brilliance, arose from his throne, O oh, best little blade of grass, he said. So, my dear students, uh, we have read, I would like that you are going to memorize these lines. Memorize these lines. This is the first thing we should try to do to learn a poem, to understand. First of all, try to learn the lines as much as you can. And after this one, we are just going to go for the understanding. First thing we should know. Now, um, the poem, when we read the first line in heaven, it gives us a message. Then the second line, some little blades of grass stood before God. So, where we come, what we understand that this is a dialogue 
this poem is a dialogue between God, Allah the Almighty, and blades of cross. It means that it is a narrative poem. It is a dialogue, narrative. There is a dialogue going on. And one more thing that is clear, that it is having the theme that is religious, that is religious, religious in its, it, in its theme. Now, when we got this one, that this is a narrative poem and it is a religious one, then we are just going to go ahead. It means first thing what we have to do is to know what we are talking. And the second thing that what are the themes? The theme, the first one is that it is a religious, religious poem. Okay, let's go. Now we are going to explain this one. The title itself, Blade of Gross. So one more thing that is important that when we talk about literature, literature is different than the functional language. Functional language, we have straightforwardness. Where did you put the pen? What did you do? But in literature, we are having depth. The meanings are vast. Itself, the blade of grass gives us a message. That why? Why did he use this one? Why didn't he talk about humans, that some humans were there and they were talking, they were having a dialogue with the God. No, he used blades of grass. Blades of grass. Oh, well, do they talk? No, they don't talk. Okay, if they don't talk, then why did he use? And he is giving the dialogue. The poet is using. Well, the blades of cross were talking with the God. So, there is something very important. This is a figurative language used by the poet. And he used personification 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 is fantastic and what is it Fant why the reason is giving human qualities human qualities to non-living things giving human qualities like we can talk we can think we are sensible we try to understand what's going around us so giving human qualities to non-living things like the blades of grass they were talking this is basically personification personification is used in it why it is used this is also another question okay one more thing which i would love to tell you that when we asked the poet that why did you use this one why did you use that one he said well i don't know you have to go for this one because the poet is having multi dimensions. Literature is so fantastic and it has so much richness in it that everyone is going to understand according to his own angle of understanding. So we don't have to go for this one that why did he use we have to fix. No, we are not going to fix. There are certain poems that we are going to understand in a different way somebody else is going to translate or comprehend or narrate it in a different way so this is the beauty of literature okay so let's come we will go in a little detail about this one so we went for the first step that is knowing knowing something knowing that well we got well this poem is narrative and this poem is religious in its theme and now we are going to talk about the details now you see first thing in heaven you know heaven paradise above skies uh, a place where all of us the believers would like to go that we want to live there in heaven some little blades of grass like these, some little blades of grass were there, stood before God. God, Almighty Allah is there and they were standing in front. Okay, so what did you do? Almighty Allah, 
asked that what did you do then all all these all these grass blades of grass were there all those they were there then all save one but there was one blade of grass like this one one blade of grass that was away then all all these were there save one of the little blades save one only one was there began eagerly to relate all those blades of grass they started talking relate to tell relate to tell okay they to tell okay to tell impatiently impatiently that well they were eager enthusiastic well i want to tell this one i have done this narrate once again to tell narrate to tell i am giving you the easy meaning there are some other meanings as well but narrate to tell they started enthusiastically eagerly to talk to tell to report the merits merits qualities qualities the good deeds merits i have this quality that quality of their lives in their lives they are having this quality that quality a lot of thing this one this one this one is basically this save one save one the single one the only one this one stayed a small way behind they were standing there but this one stood back he was there ashamed he was repentant he was repentant repentant in urdu we say nadamat that he was repentant ashamed and then presently at that moment at that moment presently at that moment momentarily momentarily presently god said once again god said and what did you do that single save one that one was there behind he was asked that what did you do the little blade answered he answered with humbleness his sound i can pronounce a bit softer one oh my lord oh my lord oh allah memory is bitter to me memory my memorance my recallings my words deeds what whatsoever i have collected in my memory is bitter bitter mean harsh harsh that is harsh to me for if i did good deeds if i had done something good good job good work good deed good actions positive actions i know not of them i forgot all i know not of them i didn't remember them they are all gone he was very humble he were he was very repentant then god in all his splendor splendor god allah almighty great impressiveness superbness elegance beauty brightness greatness and a lot more a lot more for his splendor grandeur brilliance they are synonyms they are same word and these are the titles for almighty allah we use for others but they are specific for allah that splendor grandeur brilliance here in this point a rose a rose arise a rose a reason okay arise a rose and a reason i hope that it is clear to you 
arose from his throne, from the royal seat. Arose. Oh, best little blade of grass, he said. Oh, you are the best. Why he was declared the best? The reason is here. This is the theme of the poem. Oh, best little blade of grass. Why? The reason is that one should be humble and repentant. One should be humble and repentant. That one shouldn't show off that, well, I have done this, I have this quality, that quality. No. Humbleness. So, and to show the humbleness, this is very important. If someone is going to do this, there won't be a problem and that person will be appreciated by Almighty Allah. So, uh, I hope that you got the message. Now, there is a little question. The question is, the question is that what, why did he use blades of grass? This question arises. Okay, this question arises that why did he use, why blade of grass, why not others? It is basically, as I told you that no one knows that why a poet is using this or that. The reason for this is basically the literature is having a lot of dimensions. So it depends. No, but here what we got, we can understand and what we can tell that to convey his message in an effective and moving manner. So personification is here and also the reason why he used this one, we can have our own understanding. But the reason why he used, the poet uses it to convey his message in an effective and moving manner. So I hope that you understand uh, all the poem and uh, the remaining part we are going to go for um, more questions, more queries in our interactive query sessions. I hope it is clear and uh, there isn't any problem. But just to finish it with the last uh, few words, like you see that there is one more thing I have written here for you, just to tell you that literature is to soften our heart and to deepen our understanding, we have to go for literature, read a lot of literature. It is going to help you to build your vocabulary as well as to understand humans very well. It is very, very important. Now here, there are two sentences, the last one. Here, silence is sweet. No, silence is sweet. Sometimes it can become different. But silence is sweet. This is also a little sentence. Second one, neckties are loud or colors speak. You know, these things around us. So, read a lot of literature. I hope that you are going to uh, understand it very well, the poem. And in case you got some confusion, some problems, we are going to help you out in our coming query session. Thank you very much for your kind listening and have a very nice day. Allah Hafiz.